YTBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. And guys, in this video, I'm going to send you a message. Alexander Povetkin, I'm going to send you a message. I'm going to tell you something right now, Povetkin. This ain't the message that you think it's going to be, okay? You see, Povetkin, I know guys like you. I know guys like you, man. I know you guys are tuning in. I know that you guys are tuning in to the YTBC. You have to. Because the YTBC is the pulse of boxing. That's just how it is. And I will stand by that statement. There are more boxing fans in the YTBC than any. And I'm talking about any other, any other casual fan establishment. The YTBC is the pulse of boxing. And everybody in the YTBC, they will agree with that one because they know that's the truth. But Provecan, if you ever come across this video, if you can't understand the language, man, you get somebody to translate this damn video for you. You get them to translate this video because I'm going to tell you something right now, Provecan. You! You're going to have a lot of people ride shotgun with you right now. You're going to have a lot of people ride shotgun with you, Provecan. You're going to have a lot of people. But I tell you right now without a shadow of a doubt that these people, if you are, are defeated by Deontay Wilder, these popcorn pop tart farts, okay, these fruity fecal matter fruitcakes, they will in fact abandon you. They did it to Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao gets his ass knocked out by one man, Will Marquez. They abandoned Manny Pacquiao for two whole damn years until he came back and fought Brandon Rios. And here they come. Manny's ready. Manny's ready to defeat Floyd. Manny's ready. Manny gets his ass whooped by Floyd. Manny is defeated by Floyd. Okay? He's defeated by Floyd. I don't want him calling an ass whooping. I take that back. Manny is defeated by Floyd. Okay? And the fans either jump ship off Manny Pacquiao or they slowing videos down. Okay? That, that's what they're doing. And you notice when Manny Pacquiao made, made the, made the anti-gay comments, what did all the Pacquiao fans do? A lot of these Pacquiao fans have jumped ship. They don't want to be associated with Manny Pacquiao now. You see, these are the kind of fans that you're dealing with right now. Because you got a lot of people, Alexander Povetkin, a lot of people, that want to see you win only because they hate Wilder. That's the only reason why they want to see you win. See, Povetkin, I know one day you're going to be a great heavyweight because, man, I like your work ethic. You're a hard worker. You see, a lot of people really wasn't talking about Alexander Povetkin prior to your name getting mentioned with Deontay Wilder. But, dude, you work hard. I mean, you saw something in that fight in Deontay Wilder that had you thinking. And I know I saw the look on your face, man. I can tell the expression on your face. You saw something. And you got back and you immediately, man, I got to commend you. You immediately went to the gym. And you have been training, man, and working your ass off to get ready for Wilder. You've been training your ass off. And I tell you what, you're going to bring the best out of, you're going to bring the best of the best. And you're going to bring the best out of yourself. And you're going to bring the best out of, out of Wilder. And that's going to be a hell of a super fight. That fight is probably going to be one of the fights of the year. And thanks to you, Alexander Povetkin. Because, see, when Deontay Wilder, he called you out. And when he called you out, he called you out and you took the challenge. Man. I got nothing but respect for you too, Alexander Povetkin. But you got these people that's running around here, man, that's, that's playing, acting like they're fake Alexander Povetkin fans. They're not fans of you, man. And if you are defeated by Deontay Wilder, they will abandon the ship. You will become a bum to these people. These people will point blank say, without a shadow of a doubt, that you are a bum if you lose this fight to Deontay Wilder. They're going to call you a bum. They're going to say you wasn't a damn thing anyway. That's what they're going to say. They're going to do everything they can to throw dirt on you, man. You're going to be in your coffin, and they're going to put the dirt on top of you if you're defeated by Deontay Wilder. But I admire you, man. I admire you because you're going out, you're working your ass off, you're sweating, you're living and breathing inside that damn gym because you know that this is the fight of your career. This is the fight of your career, and it's going to be the toughest fight of your career. But Alexander Povetkin, Povetkin you mark my words. One day you are going to be a great heavyweight. You're not there yet, but you're going to be one, man, because you, you're taking this serious, man. And for all these fans that's running around these fruity, fruit come out of feet cake, uh, these, 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 these popcorn pop-tart farts, okay? These booty booger uh, uh, bitches. You know, all these guys, they say they got your back, Pavekin. But if you are defeated, and when I say defeated, they're going to jump ship. You're going to be a bum because they're going to say that. It's not because they don't like you. It's because they hate Wilder. And that's the truth. And that's just the way that is. And if you are victorious, they're going to say that you're the best heavyweight on God's green earth. But if you lose to a guy like Anthony Joshua, you lose to a guy like a Charles Martin, you lose to these type guys. 
they're going to say that you are a damn bum. That's what they're going to say. Look at what they did to Arthur Spilker. I never said Arthur Spilker was a damn bum. I said the guy went in there and put on a great performance, man. He got caught with a right hand. He got caught with the right hand that he didn't see coming, and Deontay Wilder put him to sleep. But damn it, I gave Arthur Spilker a lot of props. And some of these same people, same people, talking about Arthur Spilker will beat Deontay Wilder, but then he gets in there and loses. And these same damn people are talking about he was a bum and wasn't even on Wilder's level. How the hell do you explain that one? He lasted nine rounds with Wilder. He took some of Wilder's best damn shots. And you're saying he's a bum. You know the average opponent that Wilder gets out of there, he gets him out of there in three damn rounds. And Spilka, you lasted nine rounds. How you going to explain? And, and Spilka not good? Spilka was out boxing Deontay Wilder for a portion of the fight. But see, Pavekin, Spilka's a bum. And we all know, those of us that really, really watched the fight, we know that Spilka is not a bum. He wasn't a bum. Everybody was pulling. I hope dual pause really give Deontay Wilder a fight. Gave Deontay Wilder one of the toughest fights of his career. I mean, dual pause marked up Deontay Wilder, okay? But dual pause is a bum. Johan, Johan dual pause, he's a bum. He's a bum. For whatever reason, I don't know. But he marked up Deontay Wilder's face. Marked him up. But now, see, you're going to fall into that category. If you are defeated, if you're defeated, you're going to fall into that category. But I tell you what, I got nothing but respect for you. I got nothing but respect for you, Pavek. And I got a lot of respect for you, man. Because you're not a coward. And you're not afraid of the tough fights. And this is a tough fight for you. Deontay Wilder is a dangerous opponent. He's very athletic. He's got that right hand, man. That's a right hand of stone. That's a right hand of stone that gets dudes out of there. And I tell you what. You better be on your best game. You better bring the best that you can bring for that day. You got to bring the best out of yourself, Alexander Povetkin, because I'm going to tell you this, man. Deontay Wilder is going to hit you with everything he's got. And when you feel that first right hand and that glove tearing against that flesh on your skin, you're going to know that this is not a guy. He's on another level when it comes to that punching power. You just be ready. I see you, man. I see you getting jacked. I see you getting ripped. I see you in that gym working your ass off. And as a boxing fan, Pavekin, I can appreciate you working your ass off. And that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.